This is the Rincon Smart Ring, a small, inconspicuous ring that packs a battery and a bunch of sensors inside for health tracking. So the question is, why would you choose this ring over, let's say, something like a smartwatch? Let's get into it. So the Rincon Smart Ring is a titanium ring that comes in either black, silver, or gold. I've gone with black for the understated look. It's got four sensors inside, a heart rate sensor, skin temperature sensor, blood oxygen sensor, and a 3D accelerometer. And when you put on the ring, you do wanna make sure that these sensors are on the bottom of your finger for the most accurate results. The ring is IP68 rated, making it fully waterproof and dustproof, so you can shower with it, wash your hands, and even go diving with it up to 50 meters. That paired with the titanium shell means that it is a very durable ring that is scratch resistant and lightweight at the same time. After using it for the past 30 days, the ring practically looks brand new aside from some light scratches on the bottom. Now, as somebody who is not married and doesn't wear a ring regularly, I did have somewhat of a getting used to period. I do occasionally find myself switching the ring between my index fingers when, for example, I need to grab something with one hand or if one finger is feeling like a little bit sweaty or clammy, uh, that's when I would switch the other finger. But for the most part, I actually have no problem wearing this 24 seven, especially especially for sleep tracking. Uh, sleep tracking with a watch can be very uncomfortable, but with a ring, it's actually no problem at all. In terms of battery life, a full charge will last you about six days in my experience with the charging case providing an additional 15 to 18 charges, which if you do the math in total gives you a runtime of over three months before needing to be plugged in. Now if you charge the ring from zero to 100%, it'll take about 90 minutes to charge. Now let's talk about health tracking. I actually found a quote here that really summarizes my experience with a smart ring pretty accurately. So this quote talks about mental health awareness and it says that mental health awareness doesn't mean fighting stress, anxiety, or depression on a daily basis. Rather, it means consciously modulating the habits that intensify those issues. Once you're in control of your habits, you would automatically be in a much better shape, both mentally and physically. Now, the big takeaway here is identifying those trends and habits that lead you to a better or worse lifestyle. And one habit you could start now is by hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. I'm just kidding, but no, really, you should subscribe. But yeah, with that said, let's jump into the Rincon app. When you open the app, you're first greeted with a summary of basically your progress so far that day. But what I wanna focus on is the trends tab, and we're gonna kick it off with activity. And in the month of June, I averaged a score of 36.84, which, by the way, is not a good score. Now, why is that? Well, for starters, I averaged about 3,200 steps a day, which is definitely below the default recommended goal of 6,000 steps. But in my defense, I do live in the suburbs and I work from home, so I basically drive everywhere and rarely leave my house. But probably one of the worst stats is my vigorous activity, which I averaged only 11 minutes a day. I think we've all heard of the saying of getting like 30 minutes of exercise a day. And now I literally have a way to see if I'm getting that 30 minutes. And clearly I'm not. And I mean, if we just look at my inactive duration, we can see that I'm basically a sloth for most of the day, which makes sense. A lot of my work involves sitting at a computer. But yeah, a score of 37 leaves a lot of room for improvement. So hopefully I do better in the other categories. Now let's look at sleep tracking. So I averaged a score of about 84, which is pretty good. Um, that's about a B, not bad. I guess one of the perks with being self-employed is you can basically sleep until whenever you want. You can see that my average sleep time is about six hours and 35 minutes, which is under the recommended eight hours. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Now the stat I'm most interested in here is deep sleep because deep sleep is typically when your body does most of its recovery and the CDC recommends adults to get about one and a half to two hours of deep sleep per night. And looks like I'm basically there about one hour and 20 minutes. And in the month of July, actually, so far, I'm right at the recommended amount of one and a half hours. Now, sleep cycles are not something that you can actually control, um, but obviously the more sleep that you get, uh, the more sleep you would get in each of these categories. But generally to get more deep sleep, some recommendations that I found would be just to get more exercise and to avoid caffeine before bed. My sleeping heart rate averaged 54 beats per minute, which is good. A healthy sleeping heart rate ranges from 60 to 100, so it looks like I'm actually under 
remember that. And also it looks like I had a couple of naps in the month of June as well. And by the way, the nap tracking on this ring is actually very scarily accurate. I was really impressed. Yeah, overall pretty happy with my performance in sleep, getting a score of 84. I think I can still improve getting a little more sleep per night. But yeah, let's move on to my stress. So last but not least, stress. Um, I averaged a score of 51.44 in June, which is actually better than it sounds because this is one of those scores where lower is better. So a score of 51.44 is pretty average, I'd say. This is like another B. Now the big trend here I noticed is that I tend to be way more stressed during the afternoon and evening. So you can see in the mornings, my stress is at about 44, but then as soon as it hits after 12 PM, it jumps to like 58. Then I'm pretty much at that same stress level continuing to the night at 56. Now my hypothesis here is that in the afternoons and evenings is typically when I start to play games. And honestly, a lot of these games that I play are quite stress inducing. So if I were to make a change in my habits, I'd definitely just take these games a little bit less seriously. Now, there are a bunch of other stats that you can look into in this app. I honestly haven't even scratched the surface of what this app can do. Obviously, you can view the data from each day as well, and there are a ton more metrics that you can get into. You can also view the battery of your ring and check out how much time you have before it needs to charge. One feature I like is being able to link the data from this app to Apple Health or Google Fit, something that I think a lot of people are gonna use. And the best thing about this app, I think, is that it is completely free. There's no subscription involved, which actually makes it a really, really compelling offer. But yeah, I think just to wrap up this whole review um, over the past 30 days, I've really learned two things about using this smart ring. The first thing is that using a ring will get you so much better results than just using something like a phone. Since you're wearing the ring literally everywhere, it'll have better step tracking. But I think the biggest thing is being able to track your heart rate, which just tells you so much more about your body. The other thing I learned is that using a smart ring is so much more different than using a smartwatch. Being able to take advantage of health tracking without all the distractions and inconveniences of a smartwatch is a game changer. You don't have to worry about battery life as much and it doesn't vibrate your wrist at every notification. It's out of the way and I really just liked using a smart ring. Again, going back to the quote, to really make a change in your life while the everyday battles are just as important, it's really more about the habits and trends that you can address and change and identify. And the Ringcon app is really good at telling you about that stuff. So yeah, that's been 30 days with the Ringcon Smart Ring. If you're interested in checking out this ring, I'll leave links down below. Consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. Leave a like on your way out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.